Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And today we're going to be talking about the difference between pain and suffering. And this is a very interesting subject. Uh, Hilde, you brought it up to me last week. This is a very good one because a lot of, I mean, pretty much most humanity is dealing with this. And a vast number of people on this planet are suffering. So we're going to get into this thing and I'm going to dissect it for you. So things don't necessarily go your way. So what happens is that a lot of times we're mistaking pain with suffering, which they're two different things. Pain and pleasure is an aspect of this dimension. And there's, you, cannot, you can't have one without the other. So <clears throat> if you're going to experience pleasure, naturally at one point you're going to experience pain too. So you can't just live this life without, with one only. It doesn't work unless you're drugged out your entire life and you're numb. Then you don't feel any of them. So <clears throat> you know, people say, okay, what if I, what about desires? Well, desires are part of God all desires. So it's natural to have desires. And desires, they lead to pain or pleasure. When your desire is fulfilled, you're, you're pleased, you're happy. And then when your desire is not fulfilled, simply it could be painful. You don't get what you wanted. Now, it's different than suffering. Suffering is a secondary um, element or a reaction that it comes because of an identification, because of an attachment to the results. You're heavily invested into the results or whatever that is, whatever is the scenario, whether it's a relationship, so you're really interested in a person and, and you start investing into your relationship with this person. And in this, as a result of all these investments, you're going to be attached to the results because you want results to go in your way. You want a certain kind of an outcome. You want things to go your way. And, and since you get more invested into it, not realizing it unconsciously, that you're heavily invested. So when the person at the end of the day tells you he or she, is not interested in being with you or doesn't want to marry you or doesn't want to get into this partnership or whatever the story is. And you're, you're really set that the results that you want him or her to say yes, and they say no. So then it, things don't go your way. So initially you're going to feel pain. But then if you're invested, heavily invested in the results that they have to be your way, then suffering comes and you start to suffer. And this is with anything. This is like, let's say you are invested in real estate, you're invested in stock market, in whatever area, and this is happening on daily basis. Of course, 
you're not going to buy some land or some property, some income property, a home, investing in real estate with the intention that you're going to be losing. And that's not where, that's not how you enter into it. When you do invest in real estate, you're doing it with the intention that you're going to gain, you're going to win. But you never know what's going to happen. So when you lose, if you are not really invested into the results, then it means there's not a heavy preference here. So you can easily let it go. You can easily surrender to what is. And as a result of that, you will not suffer. You need to just see, look at it and kind of take a moment and just look at every moment of your life, okay? Even for example, um, whatever, if you're with your teacher, you're with your spiritual teacher, you are, and you're heavily investing in some kind of results. You want them to be in a certain way or you really want to get something and it doesn't go your way. And you didn't really get what you wanted from your spiritual teacher or they didn't behave in a way you are invested in it. You're expecting them to behave. And so what happens is disappointment takes place and if you're really still heavily invested, it can turn into suffering, which is different than pain. Pain is a different story. Whether we're talking about physical pain or emotional pain, that's a natural element that comes with pleasure, that there's no way out of it. When you desire something or when you want something, Pain and pleasure come with it naturally. But pain is, you have to look at it, that pain is completely different than suffering. And suffering is something that most people on this planet are going through. And that is basically because originally from the childhood, again, we're programmed and we're not really trained we don't have the spiritual teaching and training certainly my parents didn't have it and certainly i saw with my own family this depending on the region where they come from uh they're also their conditioning cultural conditioning like i you know grew up part of my life in middle east and it's a Middle Eastern type of mentality. It's very emotional. It's a lot of emotions in the even giving love or rejecting someone. There's tons of emotions involved in it. And in my later years of spending time in Scandinavia, I saw something kind of opposite of it. And with Growing up and being around Scandinavians, I saw that they're not so emotional the way the Middle Easterns are. So people call Scandinavians that they're cold, but whether they're cold or they're warm or whatever it is, it's a culture. The culture is different. It's not so dramatic in emotions. So, and I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm not doing that. But what I'm talking about is that basically myself, I can only talk about myself and my own direct experience. That's all I can speak of because this is the only thing I know. Anything outside of my direct experience is something that I've heard. It's knowledge. It's not knowing. It's not knowledge and knowing are completely different. Two different things most of the information in this life that we have is knowledge. 